My name is Bolo Tuli. I'm the founder and CEO of Mbande Property Fund. Our fund focuses on investments in property, mainly in South Africa. Mbande means the roots of a tree. The reason why we named the fund Mbande was because we're dealing with mainly retirement fund monies. We wanted to create a structure that's rooted to the ground, that also talks to growth in terms of looking after investments and growing those investments. One of the biggest impacts that I think we've had as Mbande is actually empowering black females. Our investment in an affordable housing project where we invest into buying offices within the CPD areas, mainly in Johannesburg and Pretoria. These offices are converted into affordable residential units. The impact that those units have is that because they are affordable, people that wouldn't ordinarily be able to live and reside within the city, within a transport node, as well as within the work environment, the business activity where they work, are then suddenly able to afford to be able to stay there. The impact of our investments make life easier and better and improve the social environment of our people. I am the former CEO of one of the big pension funds, which is the ESCOM Pension and Provident Fund. That's where I first interacted with Rescura. They were providing some services. Plus also they were quite a well-known name in the industry as an asset consultant. Rescura supported Mbande from inception. When we started Mbande in 2018, I had interactions with Rescura and then they did a due diligence process on Bande where they looked at the investment strategy, the investment philosophy, our policies, our processes, and then highlighted certain gaps at the time and asked us to address those gaps so that we could position ourselves uh, for being attractive to being allocated uh, investments or capital by the investors. One of the proudest moments was when we could achieve our first close in September 2019. We achieved our first close and we were able to raise commitments of 800 million rands. It was a huge milestone which then meant that we had a business that could run and that could function. My late father is my role model. He always said never accept no for an answer. Each time I come across difficult instances and difficult challenges, I remember those words. To someone who wants to start an asset management business, I would say you need patience, you need endurance. It's not going to happen overnight. There's also going to be challenges and ups and downs, so you need that stamina and perseverance until you achieve your objective.